Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Diane Anderson. Let's begin with John Smith and the forecast. We're going to be talking heat throughout the afternoon with temperatures into the triple digits across the entire southern portion of the state. We'll be in the upper 90s to near 100 for the metro, and even over the northern mountains, we're looking at temperatures around the low 90s. So it is going to be hot any way you slice it across the entire state. High pressure continues to build in through tomorrow, so we'll stay on the hot side through tomorrow as well. But eventually, toward the end of the week, a little bit of moisture will start to creep into the southeastern part of the state. Not enough to give us any showers, but it will be enough to cool the temperatures back. But we're talking high. In the upper 90s, as opposed to triple digit heat for the southeast by the end of the week. This morning, agents raided a home tax and accounting business in northeast Albuquerque where they suspect fraud to the tune of thousands of dollars. Flora Mascareñas is suspected of filing fraudulent tax returns from a home near Eubank and Constitution. Agents would not tell us the total amount of the fraud they suspect. But we do know that it is in the thousands of dollars. Today, investigators served a warrant on the business, removing computers, laptops, and financial records. At this point, no one has been arrested or charged in connection with that fraud investigation. That could change soon, though. Firefighters are taking advantage of favorable weather conditions to battle the Little Bear Fire burning in Ruidoso. More than 1,000 fire crews are still there fighting the fire, which has grown to more than 38,000 acres. It is now 60% contained. Burnout operations being conducted today could result in a lot of smoke in that area. 242 homes and businesses have burned. All subdivisions except Angus and Bonita Park are now back open. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.